Hi, this is Mike Schmitz, and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. In this episode, we'll be taking another look at Obsidian, the powerful markdown text editing application that Lee Garrett covered back in episode 1107. Lee did a great job covering the basics of text editing in Obsidian, but one of the things that makes Obsidian unique is the ability to extend the application through core and community plugins. This can drastically change what the application is actually capable of and lets you do some pretty interesting things on top of that plain text foundation. In this screencast, we'll be taking a look at the Daily Notes core plugin and three additional community plugins. We'll explain how to install and configure each plugin, and we'll show you how they can be used together to add basic task management capabilities to Obsidian. Let's get started. Before we get into the wonderful world of plugins for Obsidian, you need to understand that there are two different types of plugins. There are core plugins, which ship with the Obsidian application, and there are community plugins, which are developed by third-party developers. The core plugins are nice because they allow you to turn on or off the different aspects of the application that you want to use. The community plugins are where the real magic happens, though, and those allow you to extend Obsidian in some really cool ways. But first, let's take a look at a core plugin, which is worth enabling. Click on the gear icon in the lower left to go to the settings menu. Then click on the section that says core plugins in the sidebar, and you'll get a list of all of the core plugins that are available with this version of Obsidian. Things like the file explorer, the ability to search, to use the quick switcher, the graph view, a lot of the things that Lee covered in the previous episode on Obsidian. But there's one that's not toggled on by default called Daily Notes. And this is the one that we're going to use as the basis for the additional community plugins that we'll be installing later. So go to the list, scroll down, and find the Daily Notes core plugin. Click the toggle on the right to turn this one on. And while we're here, let's turn on the Templates plugin as well, because as part of the Daily Notes setup that we're going to do, we're going to use a template, and so it's worth understanding how these work. And then once you understand what the templates do and how you can trigger them, you can actually use this as the template for all the different types of notes that you might want to create in Obsidian. So let's toggle on templates as well. Then let's click the X button to close the settings and go back to the application. Turning on the Daily Notes core plugin added a button over here on the left sidebar. Clicking this button will create a Daily Note for today. So go over to the left sidebar and click on the Open Today's Daily Note button, and a new note gets created with today's date. It's a blank note, and we can just start typing whatever we want in this daily note. So this functions a lot like a digital bullet journal system. And the bullet journal system, just real briefly, is a productivity method created by Ryder Carroll where basically you capture everything into a note for the day and then you decide what you're going to do with that information. So the Daily Notes core plugin gives us a place to capture everything that we might want to do or remember for that specific day. And then we can click on the button tomorrow and it'll take us to the daily note for that day. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine published each month 
and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.